All right, and we are back in the lobby bar for the week of October the 3rd, 2022. Brian and Michaela coming at you. And Michaela, we uh, had a cold and rainy weekend. You know, fortunately for us, we uh, did not get much of the after effects of the hurricane that passed through. But we know a lot of our listeners um, are down in Florida and then up along the coast um, into the Carolinas. So we hope that everyone had a, uh, a safe weekend and are recovering and doing OK from that. But um, like I said, we didn't get a, a lot of weather from it, but it did kind of drive us indoors for the weekend it sure did um everything got canceled and then we had a lot of rain on friday night and then nothing the rest of the weekend so all of my indoor plans continued to be indoor plans um which was great for movie watching and series watching and cocktail making but not so great for anybody that doesn't like to be cooped up indoors. So yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah. The, uh, the weather kind of reminded me of those uh, cold fall days back in Ohio. It was very overcast, very gray. Um, and it, it took me back to those uh, Halloween's prior, but I needed uh, a more adult treat, uh, you know, this time around, you know, the, uh, the little fun size Snickers, nah, it's not going to, uh, that's not going to do me. And before we get into the uh, movie theater for tonight's show, I thought we should have a fall cocktail. that will be really good. And luckily for me, uh, you happen to one. I sure did. I brought one that you can actually sing to while you're making, which is wow. okay. very okay. exciting. <laughs> I mean, I mean okay. I, all right. This is me you're talking to here, right? And it's called oh. the pumpkin smash. The yeah. pumpkin smash. It oh, is a great oh, big oh. bash. The oh. pumpkin smash. <laughs> Wow. No? Okay. Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah. I mean, you you can, and certainly you can sing to anything. That's true. But uh, but a pumpkin smash. Uh, the the song sounds less good than the drink. So let's 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 do the drink. Let's do the the pumpkin smash okay. the drink. Well, this is for all you folks out there that don't want anything super sweet. I know we've started to bombard you with a lot of sweet, creamy, like Kahlua based. A lot of like white white Russian derivatives with pumpkin spice. This is not that. This is for your bourbon drinkers out there. Um, you're we're gonna have some pumpkin spice syrup. So we talk a little bit about how to make that. We've got videos on it. It's been requested that we made a video about how to make pumpkin spice syrup. It's really mm -hmm. easy to do. You're gonna need an ounce of that. You're gonna need two ounces of your favorite mid range bourbon doesn't have to be super fancy because we're adding a bunch of stuff to it. So you're not going to get like, don't spend a ton of money on this bourbon. Just get a mm -hmm. good one that you like. Um, right. Then a quarter ounce of lemon juice. And what you're going to do is you're going to fill a cup with ice. Uh, one of those, you know, kind of Manhattan cups, <laughs> Manhattan mm -hmm. glasses. You're going <laughs> to yes. put some. Uh, <laughs> those are called rocks shake. glasses, Michaela. Those, those are, are called rocks glasses. I would know. I should know, right? The rocks glasses. So you're going to. Make sure you have plenty of ice in your rocks glass. You're going to add the bourbon, the, some, the pumpkin spice syrup, and the lemon juice. Go ahead and put that in a shaker. Shake that up. Pour it into your rocks glass. Then you're going to top that off with a little bit of soda water. The recipe that I have says four ounces. I think that's too much because I mm -hmm. want to really savor. I do want it to taste like bourbon a little bit. Um, so, you know, that's a that's a taster's choice. Uh, kind of situation. And then you're going to garnish it with a beautiful lemon wedge. It's beautiful. It's um, really tasty. If you want to get real fancy with it, this is lobby bar. We try not to be too fancy. You can do a cinnamon sugar rim on the outside. Um, but then that, again, that's going to sweeten it and make it a very sweet drink. And I wanted something today that's not super sweet for our, for our audience at home. That's right. For a more uh, discerning palate uh, this time of year. Yeah, anything uh, bourbon based is actually going to go really well um, in the fall time. Uh, so definitely a good one to try. And yeah, you should just make up some of that uh, pumpkin uh, pie spice uh, simple syrup and have that on hand because you can jazz up a lot of things uh, this time of year as we uh, inch our way closer to Halloween and trick or treat and scary uh, movie season. And that is exactly what we have going on in the box office this week. The new release Smile that uh, creepy as all get out uh, looking uh, smiling people. People. Uh, that led the way with $22 million, followed by Don't Worry Darling um, in its second week, down to uh, just shy of $7.5 million. Uh, the Woman King Bros, the uh, new rom-com, came in fourth place with just under $5 million, and Avatar, uh, you know, still hanging in there in the top five, so more money for Avatar. But but smile, Michaela. Have you, have you done any more digging on this? Is this worth our time to go see? $22 million? That's pretty good. It, it, it is, um, actually, I think it's very much worth our time to go see the preview in and of itself. I, I think I talked about this. It's pretty scary. Um, and it's done really well. People were very surprised by that. I don't know why we're so surprised. It's the first, um, 
kind of horror film. It's the first weekend. It was our first weekend in really welcoming fall. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I don't, I, I'm glad it did well. Um, but so far the reviews have actually been pretty good. So I'm excited to go see this one. I actually might uh, sneak some time away uh, from the kiddo because this is not a kid friendly film and go watch it in the theater after all. There you go. There you go. That's a good idea. Yeah. And uh, as I said, we're getting into that time of the year. So it's always good to get some some new uh, horror films on the on the docket. And anytime we can get a new one, if it's any good, uh, that is good enough for me. So, yeah, I might have to uh, go check that one out here in the next uh, week or two while that is still playing at the movie theaters. Uh, what do we do in the yearly box office? Uh, no change, really. But Minions is uh, still just chipping away at the Batman. It's about three million dollars behind the Batman. So we'll see if it could get there. I think it only made about a million dollars this last week. So I think that uh, the time is uh run out for the minions i don't think it's going to quite get over the hump there but um especially because we've got some more new releases coming out um and especially one of those is geared at kids so minions definitely not going to make any money this week because we have lyle lyle crocodile coming out which looks uh pretty fun uh it's kind of a live action and um I don't know. It's not really like anime. It's like a CG uh, crocodile uh, who's voiced by Javier Bardem, uh, who's probably the best voice for a crocodile of all time, I'm imagining. But it looks pretty fun. We saw the previews for this a while back. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually really excited because I think this is based on some books that I read as a kid. I want to believe that it's the same crocodile. So uh, I'm going to be disappointed if it's not. So now I have to go look it up. Not a lot of crocodiles named Lyle out there. So That's prob- right. probably so, the same. Probably the I same. I think it's the same. Yeah. So I'm very excited about it. Um, and obviously, yeah, Javier Bardem. He's he's amazing. He even as amazing. a crocodile. He can- even as a, a crocodile, he can do it all. He can do no wrong. Um, and speaking of people that are amazing, we have Amsterdam coming out this week. Um, I might go ahead and give you a rundown on who all is going to be in that, but we're just going to say that it has Christian Bale and uh, Margot Robbie, Annie Taylor-Joy, and leave it at that because basically everyone else who is uh, famous and excellent um, at their lives is going to be in this movie. Uh, it looks great. The preview looks good. So hopefully it lives up to kind of the the hype for that Uh could be getting some Oscar buzz on this one. I don't know for sure, but I know that this is definitely something we're interested to see. Yes. Yeah. Can't wait. I mean, I, the list is really too long, but everybody in that stars in this is pretty much amazing. So I can't wait. It's on the longer side, which, you know, I <laughs> everybody needs to listen to this podcast for one other reason. And that is for us to give our Oscar advice to the filmmakers of the world. We We don't need a two hour, 14 minute movie uh oh that's not that's not that long two hours and 14 minutes that is like a walk in the park these days um as we get uh closer and closer to three hours um and uh, another one that is coming out that is closer to three hours definitely has some oscar buzz around that um it's a limited release so you're gonna have to uh take a look and see if your theater's showing it if you are interested in seeing it uh but that is the new kate blanchett film it is called tar uh it looks super weird i saw the preview for it last week um but it looks pretty good kind of esoteric so if that's your jam uh go check it out and kate blanchett's awesome so uh probably going to be pretty good so go take a look at that one have you heard anything about tar michaela i've no i've not i mean i heard you should pack a lunch because it's three hours long so do that um bring a (laughs) snack you know uh, bring in an extra cocktail do what you need to do but yes i've heard though that this definitely um it's based it's the story around one of the greatest composers uh that's still alive and mm-hmm. so uh, the music and the score for this should be pretty, pretty awesome. So I'm very excited to listen to the film as much as to see it. Yeah, that's right. So we've got those uh, coming out this week. Let us know at home if you're planning on making your way out to see any of those things. Let us know if you also read Lyle Lyle Crocodile um, as you're a youngster and are excited to go see uh, Javier Bardem's artistic take on the uh, on the crocodile world. Let us let us know all that and let us know if you make a bourbon smash because they're awesome. And I definitely want one and we definitely need to take one um, into these uh, into the movie with us today, Michaela. So grab the pumpkin pie spice. I will grab my favorite mid level bottle of bourbon and we better head in because the movie's about to start.